Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome to some Assetto Corsa. I haven't made any videos on this yet, but I've been practicing. I wouldn't say I'm very good. Um, this is basically just going to be like a practice session. Um, I find this game really hard. Like I, was, I couldn't get my wheel set up, and it was really annoying me. Um, and basically, I found out in these generic settings, um, they, that was on 200%. I was like, I can't move my wheel, I was like, <laughs> just trying to turn. I just couldn't get my wheel to work, and I finally found that option. And yeah, it was that, so this is just going to be like a practice section. Uh, session. I'm not very good, so basically there'll be a lot of spinning out, and a lot of all sorts going on. But hopefully I'll get a few drifts together. Uh, one thing on this game is the transitions, I really struggle on transitions. I don't know why that is, but it just... I just really struggle with it. Uh, but this is a 240SX, it's a mod. Uh, it's got the 2JZ in it. So it's got a nice engine in it. It's a 240SX, so it's got a good f um, good chassis to it as well. And okay, I'm just randomly drifting quite well then. So yeah, I was playing around to settings for so long, I just couldn't get this game to work for me. Uh, was, in all honesty, I was trying to make it feel like um, R Factor, and in the end I just gave up with that because basically this is a set of course, so this is an R Factor. Uh, you probably won't be able to get the game to feel like that. Uh, I wanted like the not a very big uh, resistance on the wheel, but it still has the force feedback there. Uh, that's what R Factor feels like for me. Uh, but this game, I just couldn't get it to feel like that, so I kind of accepted this bit. It's kind of like medium strength, but it's got it's got the force feedback, so I've got to get used to that a little bit. Um, I'm slowly getting used to it, I guess. As you can probably tell then. Okay, I wasn't this good when I last tried. <laughs> This car does struggle up the hill that bit. Um, I don't know if that's because not enough camber or something like that, but shit. I think that gradient really fucked me up then. But this game is actually wicked. Once I guess you get the hang of um, drifting on this, I think it's just going to be absolutely insane to be honest. Uh, some of the mods that are coming out on the all the. There's so many tracks on this game already. I know it's been out for a while, but the amount of tracks. People must be absolutely donning it, uh, just making like, tracks, cars, and they're the people that make this game to be honest, so shout out to all them, innit? <laughs> but yeah, I'm sorry for all like, the spinning out, but this is, this is practicing, so if you guys want to see more of a set of course, uh, course of practicing, uh, give this a thumbs up, just to let me know uh, that you do want to see more. Um, but yeah, I'm not doing that bad. I was doing a lot worse earlier, so I guess I've got a little bit better from the video. <laughs> I'm trying to let the wheel do most of the work and work out where the best time to stop it is and stuff like that. Oh, that was very nice. Oh, wow. Go on. I'm actually going up the hill. Go on. Go on. I'm in. I'm in boss mode. Oh my god. Oh shit. I thought, oh, that was sick. <laughs> Fucking hell. That's the first. That's probably the best drift that I've done in this game so far. Like normally it's like one corner I spin out or something. Wow, that, that the car just felt fucking amazing, and it just kept working. And then the next corner I spin out, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> shit like that happens. But that felt fucking amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Oh wow! Now I spun out on the next corner. What I have learned after practicing in this game for about an hour or two hours, not to give it a lot of throttle. Throttle is the main aspect of this game. That's the one thing I've worked out. Um, 
like R factor, I'd say it's more uh, steering. Um, on this, throttle seems to be a a really key fa uh, factor, which is basically it's basically real life, to be honest. Because in real life, you've got to get the throttle right, and the steering is there just to compensate how much throttle you put, but. Am I gonna spin? Am I gonna spin? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, wall tap! That was sick! I kind of forgot to do the next corner because that was sick. What the fuck? I'm tearing up this game right now. Not as good as like other people, but. Ah! Oh, run the wall! Ah! Oh, I got a bit too excited. Oh shit! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I think I got a bit too excited then. Wow! I just ran that wall quite well, to be honest, until I hit it and then flew up in the air. But <laughs> as you can probably tell, I'm slowly getting this game already, to be honest. I thought this would be like a long series, this one. It was really weird because I, I was drifting earlier and I couldn't seem to get the hang of it. And now that I've started a video, the fucking. Oh shit. Just about to say boss mode comes out, I spin around, but yeah, that was boss mode. I wasn't expected to do this well. What the, f the fuck? That that long fucking drift. Oh my god, that's sick. Oh yeah, and I've been using third person, um, mainly because a lot of people complain about. Um, the in-car view uh, that you can't see a lot um, basically just for viewing like obviously if you're playing the game if I was playing it singly I'd probably use the in-car view but seeing as I'm doing it on a video I thought I might as well uh, do third person wow I threw that in a bit too hard then that was my fault shit This 240 is really working for me. I really like this bit here, it's really flowing. Uh, obviously I'm using this track mainly because Punt uh, Park was on R Factor, so I'm kinda, I kinda know where the corners go. Uh, that's the main reason I'm using this track to be honest. I know where like the corners are coming up and which way I have to go. So. I thought it'd be better to practice on something that I know than ah oh, too much throttle. That's what I'm saying. This this game's more throttle. I need to get used to the throttle. I don't know if that's the same for everyone else, but if you floor it on this game, you're basically screwed. But obviously, there's times when you can floor it. There's also times when you can't. Oh, that was quite sick. No, too much. Too much. Ugh, fuck. I've really hit the sweet spot on this wheel now. I'm getting the feeling of it. I'm getting the feeling of the physics as well. So hopefully there should be some nice Assetto Corsa um, videos coming out soon. Hopefully. <laughs> This game's fucking fun. I haven't said that in a long time. Normally when you like you spin out constantly, you get a little bit angry. I'm not getting angry. Yes. Yes, I like that. Oh fuck, not near the poles, they hurt. Hit one of those earlier and I flew up in the air. Go on, power through. What a boss. Go on, son. Oh, that's the wall. 
Oh, I was trying to run the wall a little bit better than that. But... I shouldn't really be concentrating on running walls. <laughs> but yeah, I think that'll do for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Another game that's coming onto my channel. A set of course, uh, it looks absolutely amazing to play. I've really enjoyed it. And it's been probably the most fun card game I've played so far. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, wait for episode two. See you guys later. Thank you.